back to another episode. Today I want to make a roast beak. So in the Caribbean, we would make a fire on top, fire below beak, meaning there is fire underneath where it's cooking and fire on top the cover of what it's cooking in. The last time I made this beak was over 20 something years ago with my mom. And it's something that we always used to do together. And I really enjoy making that type of bake. We would sit down in the back of the yard and we would make this thing with the excitement to eat this with some cheese and some rich chocolate tea. So I have been thinking to try this for some time. So I pull out the coal pot. I got some coals. I got some pieces of stick and some orange peel and some uh, gas but you the reason why i'm using the orange peel is if you don't want to use any gas right so you don't need to use that you could just use the orange peel and it would work but i did use the boat actually and it helped really carry this fire until the bake was finished i made two i made one that was light not too dark and then i made another one that was really dark because for some reason i like a real hot crunchy bake with cheese so i did two this would be a very quick video the longest part of this video would be this intro so join me as i put together an old school recipe i don't know how much people still do this in the caribbean or in trinidad but um Join me as I put this recipe together and see if it would taste as good as my mom made this back in the day as a child. And how I need the flour, I will leave a few links for you for a good coconut uh, bake or bread recipe. I will leave that in the cards above. All right. So come along in the kitchen and let's get started. Oh, one more thing. You will see the last chocolate and chit chat video where I knot my hair. So this is the curls that I got from it. It looks so rich and nice. And it, my curls that I already have in my hair, along with the knots, that really, really, really give it a nice bounce. And you see how nice it looks. It looks really rich and healthy. And that African Roots Moisturizer, I love it love 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 it works awesome and natural here it works good on process here it is a really good product i can't complain about it all right so i just wanted to just show you all how it worked and it looks lovely don't you all think yes it does <laughs> all right so let's get on to my old school coconut roast bake slash fire on top fire below let's go don't forget the method would be in the cards above for kneading the flour so this is the cold pot i make sure i wash it out properly and this is the ingredients that i'm going to use in the cold pot as i mentioned previously the orange peel you could use it as an option instead of using any kind of kerosene to light and my sticks and we're going to light i bring it back inside to light it because there's just too much breeze so once i get those the stick and i also added coals i don't know why i keep forgetting to show that so now i roll out my dough and i place it in the pan i rest a piece of sheet on top of it and then i rest coals and um the wood and light it i also use a piece of fig leaf and then rest a uh, hot plate on top of that then the sheet and with all of the coals and the stick in the bottom there i also have coals and the stick and i keep adjusting the stick as i continue to cook and this one i was good with the color at this point i don't know why it looked that light in the pot and the second one i really wanted it crunchy as i mentioned and that is how easily i did this guys and notice i didn't give a specific cooking time because this process is really different so the first one took about 15 minutes, the other one about 20.
I do hope you all enjoy watching and you give it a try. You want more information? Please feel free to contact me with the email provided in the description.